Okay, let's do our mountain pose and warm ups to get started. So feet hip width apart, toes straight ahead, ankles, knees, hips, shoulders lined up. Sitting bones toward the floor, activate that core. So get it supporting your spine, ribs toward your spine and up, lengthening your spine. Shoulders relaxed and down and the crown to the side. Take a few moments focusing on your breath, drawing in energy and awareness. And exhale stress and tension. Spread your toes, lengthen your spine. And inhale your arms up to shoulder level. Stretch out through your fingertips, down the shoulders. Exhale, hands to your arms. Stretch out to the front. And then exhale your hands behind you. Clasp the fingers gently and press them to the floor. Lift your heart. Stretch your head back. Keep those toes spreading out. And then pivot at your hips. Exhale all the way over. Hands up, head down. Move your chin around, let the neck release a little bit. And then bend your knees slightly and start at the bottom of your spine, winding your way all the way to the top and lift your heart. So upper body back, bend, stretch your head back, but don't lift your chin too high. Keep stretching through the neck. Keep breathing, stretching, and inhale your way up. Release into mountain pose and just take a moment feeling that energy beginning to circulate a little bit more, warming your spine and body. And then again, same thing, arms at shoulder level, hands to your heart, stretch to the front, shoulders down, and then clasp your hands behind you the opposite way of your finger outside. Again, lift your heart and stretch back and then exhale and pivot forward. Hands up and head down once more. Lift the sitting bones, get a stretch on the back of your legs as well as the back of your body. And then again, slowly work your way up into that upper body once more for back bend. Stretch chest high and head back. Take a few breaths there, feeling the back bend. And then inhale upright, releasing your arms. Take a moment, just breathe, noticing how your body is responding today. And our side stretch next, so bring both arms out, palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders. Clasp your hands and bring them back next to your ears. Arms stretching out and sitting bones down, everything facing the front as you lean to the side. Push the foot you're leaning away from down and out through your hands. So maximizing that rib opening, feel it stretching things apart. And then inhale back to the center, switch your other hand to the front. And again, pull your arms by your ears. Sitting arms down, crown high, lean no twist over to the side. So make sure both your hips and shoulders are facing the front. Push the foot down for that extra stretch on that rib opening side. Feel the contraction on that opposite side. Take a breath. And then inhale your leg up once more. And release. So sides are more open. That spine went side to side. So next we're going to open it up a little more for our twist. So get the bones stretching apart. Arms again at shoulder level. Palms toward the ceiling. Hands above your shoulders. Clasping your elbows. Arms next to your ears, stretch the sitting bones and the crown away from each other. And exhale to twist. Take a breath. And on the exhalation, pivot over. Deepen as much as you'd like to go in your twist forward bend. And relax. Keep your arms by your ears. Keep the weight on both feet. And then inhale your way back up in the twist into that upper body only for your back bend. Remember, you want to be gentle on your low back when it's twisting. Chest high, shoulders down, keep breathing. Inhale to the top, exhale around to the center, switching your arms to balance things out. And again, arms by your ears and stretching apart through the spine. Exhale to twist the other direction. 
another breath. And exhale over. And again, just deepen as far as you want on this side. Lift your sitting bones and stretch the legs maybe a little more. Arms next to your ears through each. And again, shoulders and shoulder blades towards your waist as you inhale your way back up and lift your heart. And again, feel that body in the upper body back and lifting, stretching, and not overdoing. Inhale to the top, exhale around to the center. Shoulders are down, fingertips high into extended mountain. Stretch high on one side for a little extra side stretch. Come up on that opposite toe, heel lifted on the side you're not stretching. So the foot stays flat on that side that's open. Exhale that side down, inhale the other one. Keep stretching it out. Feel those ribs open even. And then both feet down, both arms up, shoulders down, arms next to your ears. And pivot at your hips, bring your body parallel to the floor as much as you can, sitting bones and crown and fingertips, everything reaching away. And then just drop in the red doll hanging. Feel that back of your body getting even more stretch. You can do even further with the hands behind your legs, pulling in even more through that lower back. And then hands back to the center, and another roll up, just slowly coming back into your standing position. As you get back in the mountain pose, just take a moment to feel those feet supporting you. Spread your toes, sitting bones down, core active, shoulders back and down. Bring your arms to shoulder level. Bend your elbows, fingertips together. So we're going to open the heart, pulling the elbows back, and then fingertips back together. And then swing your hands up to the front, all the way around, as far back as they want to go. They may not make it that far, that's okay, just as far as you can. And then again, staying at shoulder level, bringing the fingertips back together. So elbows back first, just a little opening, and then together. And then swing it way out, feel that whole upper body open across the chest and heart, and then back together. And one more elbows back, fingertips together, swing it around and out, and back together, and release. Feel your shoulders, sucking them around, and back into mountain pose. Take a moment, breathe in. Stretch the crown high, feel the back of the neck stretch even more. Sitting bones down, feel that spine really opening. And then hands on your back, elbows toward each other, again, opening across the chest. So heels of the palms on your lower shoulder blades and fingertips down toward your wrist. Elbows pushing toward each other. Feel that chest expand across the front. And then pressing gently into your hands, lift your heart a little bit, looking up, but don't lift your chin. So keep stretching through your neck as you go into a little supported back bend. Chest open, keep breathing and stretching out through the top of your head. Spread your toes, sink evenly into your feet. Just feel that back bend as much or little as you need today. And then chin toward your chest, coming back up, release your arms. Then yeah, just feel what's going on through that upper body. Take a moment and breathe. Now we're going to do a couple of things. I'm going to turn around so you can see. First, just clasp your fingers gently together without touching the heels of the palms and press them down toward the floor. And again, feel that heart area open as you push the fingers down and lift your heart slightly. Keep the chin slightly toward your chest, stretching out through the back of your neck, out through the top of your head. Take a moment and breathe. And then come back upright, and then press the heels of the palms together as you press the fingers, and then press the hands down. And notice that that's slightly different as it works across your heart and chest and through your arms. And again, press the hands further down, lift your heart, 
hips still over your ankles, head slightly back, the chin still slightly toward your chest. Take a breath or two, lift the heart, feel what's going on through that upper back. And then coming back upright, release your hands, and we're going to do the same thing, but you're going to shift the fingers in one position over. So just loosely clasping the fingers, heels of the palms not touching, with the opposite thumb on the outside, the opposite finger on the outside. So again, press the hands down, chin slightly forward as you lift your heart and push your head back. Feel that heart chest area open across the shoulders. Spread your toes, no gripping. Lift your heart, maybe a little bit more. And then again, come upright, push the heels of the palms together with the hands clasped, push them down, feel the difference. And again, lift your heart a little bit more, pushing your head back, but not lifting your chin. Hands toward the floor, sink evenly into your feet, keep your hips over your ankles, keep breathing, heart high, breathe and stretch. And then again, inhale your way back upright, releasing your arms completely. And just take a moment feeling what's different all the way across your heart and chest. And bring your hands together. Look at your hands, inhale, bringing them toward the ceiling, looking at your thumbs, pulling back into that upper body again for your back bend as you look at your thumbs behind you. Hips still over your ankles. Exhale, hands to your heart, pivot forward, and then drop in your back Take a moment there, just hanging, letting that pull back, get a nice forward bend. And then slide your hands up under your knees, elbows, knees, and spine, straightening. Get those ribs up and activating your core as you're in that halfway up stretch. Lengthen through your whole body. Bend your knees, exhaling, come to child's pose as I transition to the neck. Hands, palms up at your feet. Forehead down toward the floor. Take a breath. Just let that whole body round forward. Another little back bend. Forward bend. Take a breath. Stretching your back. And then inhaling, bring your arms out to the front. Right in front of your shoulders. Give it up. Bring your knees back under your hips. So you're in table position. Lift those ribs. Support your lower back. If you need to, remember you can put your fists down instead of your palms if those wrists are bothering you. But this is a nice little wrist strengthener. We won't be here too long. So chest toward your thumbs slightly. Just those shoulder blades back toward your hips and stretch the hips and crown away from each other. And then we're going to bring the elbows down to the floor where your hands were and right under your shoulders. Take a moment there, feel your body in this slight position. And then we're going to pivot the left hand behind the right elbow. So you've got a kind of 90 degree angle with your forearms. And then shift your hips back toward your heels and then slide your hand way forward, right hand forward. So that arm is straight. And then let the shoulder come down towards your hand a little bit more, stretching it across through the shoulder. And as you exhale, you can bring your forehead down toward that left forearm, or even further down toward the floor if you really like the stretch. Keep the hips going back, keep the hand in front planted, and just keep pushing back through the hips, feeling that shoulder maybe open even a little bit more. Take a breath. Best and then inhaling, bring your head up, bring your elbow back in under your shoulder, and pivot your other arm in. Feel the difference of the two shoulders. So, of course, we are going to do the other direction. So, right hand behind your left elbow, hips sinking straight back toward your heels. And then push the left hand away far forward. Plant the palm, really get it settled. And then keep pushing back through your hips. And exhale, forehead down toward that right forearm. 
or further down towards the floor if you want even more shoulder opening. So remember, do what's right for your body, never overdo. Take a breath, just feel those shoulders, give them a little bit more work in them. Exhale, relax as much as you want. And then on an inhalation, lift your head, face forward, elbow back on your shoulder, and the other one to the back. Feel your body. And since we're almost a puppy, let's go all the way to the puppy. Slide your chest slightly forward. You can bring it all the way down to the floor if you want. And then move your puppy tail around in the air. So you're just little circles with your hips, both directions, giving your puppy tail just wagging, just like a happy puppy. And then push into your forearms and slide all the way back, hips to your heels, arms extended out from the front. Exhale, bring your forehead down all the way towards the floor. Extended child's pose. Bring your forehead to the mat all the way from wisdom pose. Feel that connection into that meditative center just a little bit more. And inhale and sit up on your heels and come into that position. Legs extended out in front. So your sitting bones are behind you or activated, supporting your spine and shoulders right above your hips. Relaxing down toward your waist. Circle those shoulders a couple of times. Lots of work that we did with them already today. And then take a moment to breathe. We're going to, let's bring the right foot up to the inner left side, knee out to the side, doing our diving dolphin. So bring your left heel back near your left hip and cram to the ceiling. So this hip will be up a little bit. We're going to turn the whole body. So stretch your spine apart and twist toward that right knee. Hands on your leg or the floor, ribs coming back, shoulders rounding forward as you dive on your forehead and sailing down toward the floor, rotating your face to the front, inhaling up, sun and sky, lifting your heart, looking toward the ceiling. And again, rounding forward, exhaling, diving down, tucking your chin, inhaling, coming up. So we're working the whole spine. Not a lot of pressure in your hands, just letting that spine do all the work as you go diving under and leaping up to the sun and the sky. You're the dolphin just playing through those waves along the shore. And the next time you come to the top, pause and exhale to the center, releasing your legs back to the front. Again, pushing out through your heels, up through the crown, supporting with your core. And our dolphins want to go the other way, so bring your left foot to the inner right thigh and your right heel back near the hip. And again, just whatever comfortable position for you, this hip will come up on the right side as we stretch the spine apart and exhale into our twist toward the left knee. Ribs in, chin slightly tucked as you dive your forehead down. Let's not under the water. And then inhale as you come up to the sun and the sky. You're a big offering. Just feel your whole body going through that range of motion or working as you go into the forward bend. And then lower that opening up as at the heart as you come to the sun. And your dolphin wants to just lightly leap as high as it likes to go, lifting its heart, breathing in, and then diving under it as we do. And then the next time you're at the front, again, pausing, exhaling, turning to the center, and returning to step position. Take a moment, feeling that spine a little more activated with all that motion. From the waves. We're going to go up on our knees again and back into child's pose briefly. So, get sinking back to your heels, hands, palms up, forehead down, let those shoulders relax. 
Feel that whole spine stretch in its forward again. And then inhale, face forward, coming up, lifting your heart, coming all the way up, shoulders over your hips, over your heels. So you're in kneeling position. If this is too much for you, remember, you can tuck your toes under or you can put pads under your ankles. Bring your, or you can pad under your thighs, between your thighs and calves for a little less stress on the knees. Bring your hands together like we did when we were standing with the heel of the palm separated, fingers going toward the floor. And then inhale, prayer and high. Exhale, bring those hands up and your forehead down toward the floor. Chin tuck just slightly, bring those hands way up toward the ceiling, toward your head, as far as they want to go. Take a moment and breathe through that stretch. Feel the shoulders working. And then face to the front, inhaling. Bring those hands back down toward your hips and your hands up above your heels. Press the heels of the palms together again, just like we did when we were standing. Push your hands down toward the floor. Feel that heart open even more. Inhale, and as you exhale, hands coming up, chin tucking slightly, bring your forehead again all the way down into that forward bend. Go as deeply into that forward position as you like. The hips can come up if they need to, that's okay. Take a breath, hands toward your head. Feel the shoulders, feel the heart area. Inhale, face forward, right on coming back up, rising hands down toward your feet as you come back to your kneeling position. Shift those fingers one position over, and again, we're going to do the same thing with the hands clasped the opposite way. So fingers down toward the floor, feeling that heart rise and open. Stretch through the crown. Exhale, pivot over, chin tucking slightly as you bring your forehead down toward the floor, hands up toward the ceiling or further toward your head. And again, lift those shoulders only as much as your body wants. Take a breath and release. Inhale, face forward, coming back up, bringing those hands down toward your feet as the head comes back up toward the ceiling. And then as you get back into your kneeling position, relax a moment, and then press the heels of the palms together in your clasped hand position. And fingers to the floor, lifting your heart, a little upper body back in as we start. And then exhaling, tucking the chin slightly as you bring the forehead again forward to the floor. Hands up toward the ceiling, or again, further toward your head if your shoulders want to do that. Breathe into it. Feel us relax as deeply into that as your body feels. One more inhalation. Face forward, clam coming up. Don't bring that chin out too much as you bring your hands down again toward your feet. And once again, head above your heels, release your arms and just feel what's going on across your heart and chest. Slide off your feet, you bring your feet to the end of the mat, and just their position once again. Activate that core, head above your he uh, hips, and then slowly roll to the mat. Now to get all the way down, take a moment in corpse position, just relaxing. Deep breath in, exhale, all the tension in. Let your toes come toward each other, relax your lower body. Circle your shoulders a couple of times, both directions. And then let the shoulders and shoulder blades sink down into the floor, turning your hands, palms up, slightly away from your sides. Feel that heart area nice and open. Breathe into that center of your heart. Exhale, any tension, just let your body grow heavy and into that surface beneath you. And just deep breaths in, allow your body just to surface and sink. Breathe into that earth and grace. Allow everything to release completely as we deep in our relaxation. And as your body sinks deep into that earth support, just let it go completely. 
As your body completely relaxes into that earth and grace, first allow your awareness to release thoughts of your body. And as you breathe, letting your mind just drift, allow yourself to forget the past, release any anticipation of the future, just be in the moment with your breath, body sinking, everything deep into the earth. Mind just floating free, allowing your heart to open and the peace within your body and your body and your mind completely. Be in peace. You can relax in your arms you have the time today. Yeah, if it's time to get ready for the rest of the day, you can draw energy and awareness back to the moment to the moment to your body with your breath. And as you breathe more deeply, just begin moving your body gently, however feels good for you today. Breathing more fully and stretching more completely whenever you are ready. And when you're ready for your Finally, we'll go back with the appreciation. Sitting bones toward your heels, back gently down as you draw your heels toward your lips. And knees up toward your heart. Wrap your arms around. Give yourself an appreciative yoga hug. Let your body know you appreciate its yoga work today and the work your body does for you every day. And when you're ready to release, bring your head and feet to the floor. Roll over to the side. And sit back up, getting ready for whatever's ahead in the day today. Thanks for joining me.